Hello everyone and welcome to my session Data Artificial Intelligence Innovate with Microsoft AI on Global Azure 2024 Jimmy Cloud Talks. In a agenda of my presentation, I will talk about um, Azure uh, Artificial Intelligence Services. Uh, actually, uh, I will talk about the, the free uh, Azure uh, Artificial Intelligence Services. The first is uh, uh, Azure Machine Learning. Uh, I will talk about uh, Cognitive Services and uh, 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 the last is Open AI Services. Uh, I will talk about Microsoft Copilot, uh, how we integrated uh, Microsoft Copilot in Unify security operation with the Microsoft Defender and uh, uh, Microsoft Sentinel. That is very important because now that is uh, uh, public preview. Um, how is uh, organized uh, artificial intelligence uh, in Microsoft security? We will discuss about the shared responsibility model and two generation of uh, artificial uh, uh, intelligence. Of course, technology generally uh, when we're talking about of artificial intelligence uh, is uh, everywhere. Uh, technology is advanced increasingly uh, and very quickly grabbing uh, headlines every day. Uh, experience based of uh, large uh, language models like chatbot uh, have taken in the world uh, very storm and uh, in part because they can draw um, the West, the West store of data, leveraging uh, the massive computer power uh, available today in, in the world. And uh, uh, you can see on this slide, uh, 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 when we're talking about technology break uh, through uh, with the customers, uh, as a result, um, our expectation uh, actually our employee to start uh, demanding these kinds of experience of tools they use in day-to-day -day operation uh, uh, expect uh, artificial intelligence capability in the services uh, uh, what microsoft offer and actually uh, with the different uh, experience uh, like uh, uh, alice uh, actually now taking the computer age from the uh, and that is uh, actually uh, because Microsoft announces the generative all power the compiler fixes file change the work as we know it uh, and uh, in this slide you 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 uh, we, we, we will uh, you can see uh, different uh, actually uh, public information about uh, uh, Microsoft artificial intelligence in the definitely very, very positive way. Uh, it is um, real now and uh, organization across industry are seeing the benefit of uh, artificial intelligence. De uh, definitely uh, Carmax, for example, deploy uh, uh, Azure Open Arms uh, 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 AI service on the top of its West customer review database and uh, uh, can quickly generate unique, unique uh, summarize uh, um, uh, actually for the cars available on um, their website and Progressive is using artificial powered chatbots to save uh, uh, 10 million every day is dollars and they bought transfer up to more 200,000 query uh, each month with uh, some actually personalized, very intelligent and the text-based responses. 
And of course, you is using also intelligence document automatization with the clients uh, in the new contract audit services and save clients in a very about it is very important 250 hours of manual work that is amazing and uh, uh, you, uh, after, after that we can see benefit definitely uh, when we're talking about uh, uh, when we're talking about uh, actually uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, I mentioned that is impact is real and uh, on this slide you can see uh, what is a karma estimate what is progressive uh, about uh, two uh, million annually with the dollars with the, uh, artificial power at chat box and uh, um, actually a lot of study found that uh, uh, about more than 18% of the leaders believe uh, uh, the Microsoft artificial intelligence will give organization a very, very competitive age. The question for every leader is asking themselves right now, how will you, for example, organization size the full potential of artificial intelligence while uh, for the other say we have safeguarding for business uh, for our data for our uh, employee and that is a crucial uh, because uh, uh, more than uh, a, a 18 7 percent organization believe for 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 that that is artificial intelligence is very competent uh, age uh, when we define uh, artificial intelligence, uh, actually, uh, when we try to define, uh, we have uh, many, many definitions. We have some definition is a technology way. We have some uh, uh, um, in, in different, but uh, actually, uh, that is, uh, we tend to think to, about uh, artificial intelligence as a software that exhibits one on the more human-like capability, uh, uh, like visual perception, ability to use some computer vis vision capability, to accept, interpret, and process input from image, from video streams, for the cameras, text analysis, when we using uh, actually natural language processing, uh, uh, but also generate uh, realistic response uh, uh, when we, uh, when we uh, try to uh, extract some semantic meaning from, from the text. And uh, when we're talking about the sp speech, uh, that is actually ability to recognize speech uh, as input and uh, synthesize uh, spoken output. And uh, we will, uh, in real situation, uh, using combination of speech capability with the ability of uh, using uh, actually nat natural processing uh, language uh, of text uh, and of course users can finally interact with uh, uh, some bots uh, it's much the same way they would with another human uh, the last is uh, actually uh, decision making uh, I using some uh, and recognize some anomaly in my sense of reading and uh, after that I, I can take in automatic action to prevent some failure or system damage. That is uh, very important and uh, actually I, I, I can use some experience in the past, I can learn uh, coloration to access situation and take some some action and decision that is actually how we uh, understand and uh, artificial intelligence is increasingly pre prevent in the software application uh, and uh, uh, developer use actually in every day including some digital assistance in our in homes and uh, call phones for example automatic technology in the vehicles and smart productivity application 
um, actually a lot of, of the different fields uh, when uh, how we describe and uh, uh, some psychological some technological way explanation uh, in define uh, artificial intelligence and uh, we when we try to understand uh, artificial intelligence uh, we will discuss about uh, actually different uh, uh, different uh, pillars the first is actually artificial intelligence uh, um, with artificial intelligence i can build some machine learning to create uh, software and emulated uh, one and more characteristic of the human intelligence uh, uh, while why conversation against uh, i don't know development uh, requires some uh, uh, monitoring and population uh, and uh, uh, it not be feasible to, to on human experts you can who can positively identify the animal in the question um, and uh, actually the model could be used in the software application also there is some automatic identification of animals to track some animal uh, side in, across the large uh, geographic area uh, and uh, for the other side we have machine learning machine learning is a subset of data science deals with some training uh, with validation of some predictive models and typically data science prepare uh, data and use after that uh, in uh, uh, in train model base of some algorithm uh, that exploits some relationship between uh, features of data and predict value for unknown uh, levels um, uh, data science uh, um, uh, might be used some data that have collected on the train that predicted some annual growth on decline population in specific base of two factor number of nesting sites observed and uh, uh, different uh, predicting model can that be used to tool to evaluate some infrastructure industrial development in the local area uh, and access the actual impact on the local wide world um, and finally we have data science that is uh, uh, discipline with the focus of processing and analysis of data with some statistical technique to uncover and visualize relationship and pattern in data, uh, data about population of uh, uh, some uh, uh, species in geographic area combined with the data about levels of economic demography in some area and uh, definitely uh, data sizing, uh, signing uh, must help in order to determine the optimal policy balance uh, with need some economic actually economic uh, 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 well-being from the human population with the uh, need to con conservation of uh, some endangering wildlife And uh, actually, uh, recent some work trend in this report tell uh, us that about 64% uh, of employees don't have enough time of energy for, for jobs. And employee lack time and energy to their jobs are uh, 3.5 uh, times more likely uh, to struggle with innovation uh, or st uh, strategic thinking. That is very interesting. Uh, and uh, in fact, 70% uh, uh, of employees are open to delegate some day work to artificial intelligence. Uh, and uh, while too many uh, artificial intelligence related jobs lost to top to mind about uh, 49%. In fact, uh, managers looking uh, to artificial intelligence to boost productivity and uh, most valuable 
for boosting productivity versions cutting headcount. That is actually, uh, we have a lot of uh, different reports who explain this. Uh, actually, that is some World Trends Index of report in, in, in 2023. Uh, the next slide describe actually portfolio of uh, artificial intelligence services designed for developers and data sciences, and uh, we can take advantage of decades of breakthrough research responsible for it, artificial intelligence and flexibility. You can see on this slide, uh, for example, different scenario specific artificial intelligence services apply uh, AI services in conversational, cognitive search, uh, video indexer, metric ad advisor, immersive readers. And we have uh, vision, speech, language, decision, open AI services. And when we also use customizable, high quality artificial intelligence models in cognitive service. Uh, actually, access high quality vision like speech, like language, like decision ma making our models through simple API calls and create your own machines models with tools like Jupyter Notebooks, uh, Visual Code uh, uh, Studio, open source uh, tools, framework uh, like TensorFlow. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, we also have a machine learning platform when we're talking about uh, Azure machine learning. And uh, this is very, very uh, um, important slides when we compare different uh, Azure artificial intelligence services. Uh, we have natural language uh, processing, we have knowledge mining and document intelligence, computer vision, like video analysis, like uh, image analysis, optical character, OCR, um, Azure artificial intelligence video indexes uh, help us in uh, speech when we're talking about natural language processing, decision support for context safety and moderator, generative R. Uh, uh, with uh, Azure Open Artificial Intelligence Service and their e image generation uh, when we discuss about different uh, Azure uh, Artificial Intelligence Services. And uh, actually, uh, Microsoft Azure oh, is designed to make it easy for developers and uh, organization to add some uh, AI capability to application without the need to extensive expertise. And uh, actually, uh, Microsoft Azure uh, uh, AI help to quickly build, to deploy, to scale or L enable application to take advantage uh, actually with scalability, with security, with uh, compliance capability uh, in uh, Azure platform. And uh, Customers is very really seen in incredible value that uh, uh, actually AI can create some in your organization. We have uh, infrastructure level, we have machine learning level, cognitive service, and finally uh, uh, open a AI uh, service on Microsoft Azure. And actually, we have uh, machine learning. Uh, Machine learning use some uh, enterprise grade service for end to end machine learning life cycle uh, focus, uh, for example, for on application level. We do innovation with the fully managed, uh, highly available with the Postgres SQL database. Uh, enjoy with the fully compatible uh, data security. Uh, um, Developer experience with increased productivity, with the simplified end to end deployment experience with the low cost of ownership, reduce time to market with the Kubernetes service, uh, application service, and many, many more. And after that, we have uh, uh, Azure Cognitive Services. That is a set of cloud, actually, 
base API that you can use some AI application in Dataflow. It provides some pre-trained models that are ready to use in your application, require no data and no model training uh, on part. Uh, key benefit uh, is uh, definitely minimal development of effort of states apart uh, AI services, easy integration into application with the HTTP on the REST interfaces. And finally, developer and data science of all skill level um, actually can easily add uh, artificial intelligence capability to application. That is actually how we understand uh, Azure Cognitive Services. And uh, uh, that is actually some, with some consideration. Of course, these services are only available uh, over the web internet connectivity is generally actually required. That is interesting. And uh, you can see uh, uh, the first column is services with the language, with the speech, with the vision how we link decision guide with this description of these services and decision service uh, uh, actually consists of uh, anomaly detector, content moderator and personal with, when we're talking about apply AI service, uh, uh, Azure Cognitive Search, Azure Open AI service provides some REST API access in, in Open AI language, language model. Uh, that is definitely uh, uh, explanation, very good explanation of Azure Cognitive Services. And of course, we have different uh, use case for, for that propose uh, for uh, actually uh, uh, five categories. The first is a speech with the, the second is a language, the third is a vision, decision service with anomaly detector content moderator and personalize, and finally, you can use apply advanced coding and language model in the various use cases you know, in Azure Open AI. And uh, definitely uh, help in uh, when, we, when we're talking about, very helpful when we're talking about uh, in, uh, in, in order to define different use cases because uh, Azure Cognitive Services, uh, I mentioned set of cloud-based API. You can use different AI application of data flow. Okay, we can continue with the uh, Azure Apply AI. Uh, you can generate tangible value for your organization quickly with uh, AI services for a common business process. You can use uh, task specific AI to solve common scenario. You can deploy different solutions faster with the business logic. Uh, that is very important uh, uh, with, uh, with combination cognitive services uh, with very sp uh, speciali sp specialized uh, artificial intelligence uh, and build uh, logic uh, with uh, with the, when we're talking about the deploy solution very fast. And finally, we have Savewire with our organization data from the cloud to the intelligence. That is uh, actually al uh, uh, algorithm how we understand uh, the first, how I organize my use case and I want you uh, create bots with connect from across channel with, for example, Power Virtual Agent uh, with uh, Azure bot, bot services. Uh, I can moderate and detect uh, text, video, and imaging with the cognitive services. Uh, I, I, I can detect uh, abnormal or time service activity with, with anomaly detector and everything. Uh, when it, and create some personalized experience in my application with the Cognitive Service Personal Agents. Microsoft runs on uh, Azure AI. Um, uh, actually, many, many innovation, but the reason we have moved in such fast pace because we have built all of this co-pilot on top of platform 
Azure AI, like chat bot being uh, chat in, uh, integrated, the micro, Microsoft Compiler Frixis 5, uh, Power Platform Compiler, Dynamic Frixis 5 Compiler, Windows Compiler, Security Compiler, and uh, definitely that is the uh, era of uh, uh, Microsoft Co Co Compiler. And uh, actually, uh, uh, value proposition is based of uh, free main uh, principle, but uh, actually boost productivity of developers. That is very important. Um, and actually enable artificial intelligence solutions as a scale. Uh, to provide many organizations with the full confidence, knowing they own and control the data platform. Uh, and uh, that is actually a guide principle to enable some full mission of uh, employing every developer and every organization uh, with uh, potential of value. Uh, actually, uh, uh, Azure Open AI services enable developers and organization actually to access and use some most advanced uh, AI models in the world, including the chatbot and uh, GPT-4. And like uh, I mentioned also before, uh, all the Microsoft Copilot experience we will talk about to use some um, Azure Open AI models and all of the Microsoft Copilot offering the build using the same Azure Open AI services and API all of you can also use some build and scale your own uh, AI solution, definitely. And we also can use some Azure Open AI service uh, for our data. Uh, we can define first some data sources in order to connect with uh, our uh, mobile, I can use some API or SDK for that purpose, and of course, additional uh, free P data sources like files, like database, like storage data. Um, uh, what makes the Azure OpenAI service so powerful is that it enables you to ground of uh, fine tune of all models with your data and. Uh, uh, we are actually making it easy to do with uh, some Azure data services uh, and enable us get much more intelligence and tailored output from uh, AI models. I mentioned uh, Copilot, Copilot for every day in the day to day uh, our operation. Uh, the first is Microsoft 365 Copilot, Dynamic Copilot, Copilot with the Power Platform uh, uh, built in, and the Microsoft Security Copilot Defend the Machine Speed with Microsoft Security day-to-day uh, -day operation and integrated with uh, uh, Defender SDR and Sentinel. That is very important. Uh, when we're talking about reverse engineering or malware investigation, um, yeah, reporting, uh, vulnerability management. Uh, I can create some Q Q QQL uh, query for different purposes and definitely security could help us uh, in order to connect some indicator of compromise to connect with the vulnerability base and uh, our incident investigation work faster definitely the first centralized ai assistance on the platform is a windows copilot and of course in order to increase productivity uh, developers works to accelerate innovation uh, you can use also github copilot it is also uh, integrated as uh, as extension in visual, visual code studio and that is good example actually different scenario because unify operation that is now uh, actually in public preview uh, uh, how we integrated microsoft sentinel graph for example uh, 
uh, defend, Defender is the R and uh, security copilot uh, in a unified security operation. I, I mentioned in order to investigate and complete some complex tasks, such some cyber threat hunting, uh, vulnerability management, incident respo responding, uh, uh, and uh, collaboration is very important. Uh, we can use Microsoft Sentinel uh, security event management system for collect, for detect, for investigate incident, uh, to respond rapidly and in automate protection in real time. And you can use Microsoft Defender for cross domain security operation center experience for hybrid identity, for mail collaboration, Defender for identity, uh, for cloud access security uh, broker operation with cloud workflow in multi tenant operation, uh, for data when we integrated the Microsoft Preview with data loss prevention. Uh, when, when, when we define some uh, user risk level policy relation and uh, uh, integrated with the uh, software service application with uh, different API connector, including application discovery for over uh, for, for a thousand application. That is amazing. And finally, security copilot uh, for incident response we can use for security reporting uh, when I have decision to summarize some event incident or threat seconds and prepare information ready to share. Uh, security posture management when we discuss about uh, known vulnerability and exploit, uh, how can I prioritize a risk and address vulnerability with a uh, wide recommendation. Surface in outgoing incident tasks, it's all and destruction to begin remediation based on proven tactic from real world security scenario. That is actually challenge. And uh, uh, definitely, uh, we have some key implication for artificial intelligence in security. That is interesting uh, because. Uh, security leaders and teams need to manage uh, multiple implication of artificial intelligence uh, that is that is important and uh, um, attackers and business units are often to first to adopt some new uh, technology like uh, AI to discover and exploit opportunity to increase efficiency and in, uh, of their activity to in order to educate the users on what they will face from attackers uh, with realistic in, uh, impressionation of voice, videos, uh, mail styles, and more using AI. And establish the policy with the external AI to protect data privacy and security. Uh, that, is, that, is, that is interesting. And uh, integrate security from design to production with the data, with the system, uh, education policy, and uh, with AI app design usage and using the use of external AI. And of course, how to mitigate uh, artificial intelligence uh, uh, with, uh, uh, when, we, when we discuss about unified op operation, security operation with the Defender XDR, Sentinel and Copilot with automatic attack description in real time and remediation process that is that is very important and uh, actually we have uh, ai share responsibility model uh, this uh, this slide illustrated the uh, area of responsibility between uh, customers and uh, how service provider microsoft uh, about three main types of development the first is uh, uh, infrastructure as a service, uh, bring your own model approach, uh, platform as uh, Azure uh, AI approach, and software as a service, actually, that is a copilot approach. Uh, uh, AI platform uh, provides some capability of, to the application. Uh, AI platform security consideration protect the AI platform uh, 
from malicious input, safety system must be built to filter some potential harmful instruction uh, sent to AI model inputs. And uh, in AI application to protect uh, application from malicious activity, AI usage, uh, that, is, uh, that is very important uh, layer uh, that is described how we understand capability uh, are ultimately used and consumes uh, uh, generative well offers new type of user computer inference interfaces that is fundamentally different from other computer uh, interface like API, like uh, 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 different common prompt uh, uh, graphical user interface. Uh, and we have security life cycle with security for any of uh, other type capability that is critical plan for complete approach, including people, process, and technology that is crucial, based on uh, NIST cybersecurity uh, uh, models and, and uh, frameworks. We have actually uh, Microsoft approach focusing on responsibility and rapid integration of uh, generative AI technology that is enable uh, customers rapidly to take advantage of uh, benefit while reducing risk of negative impact. Uh, we, we can establish clarity for our data. Your data is your data. Uh, implementing responsibility for AI principle with uh, privacy and security accountability, transparency, based of uh, governance, rule, training, and tools and process, and we can prioritize greatest needs and with security copilot priority standards and everything. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we have also artificial intelligence uh, with, uh, with uh, when we're talking about the dynamic conversation chat with new interface, uh, uh, we're comparing the old generation resources and references that is critical to educate the mitigate attacker, uh, embrace security, and protect business use of AI. And Microsoft approach is actually focused on three types. Uh, when we're talking about of AI pillars to establish clarity, to implement the responsibility principle, and focus with security priority of greater uh, great needs. Uh, and actually, that is uh, how, we, how we understand uh, uh, this, uh, this review about artificial intelligence. And we have actually top, uh, top, uh, uh, we also have uh, two generation of uh, artificial intelligence that is that is very important to to uh, understand the first uh, is uh, actually a classic traditional artificial intelligence uh, like uh, i can detect i can and classify work amounts of data with traditional AI good or large field of data and finding some patterns of making recommendations, for example. Uh, traditional AI is better and understand highly complex, smaller things like language. And uh, generative AI is good when we're talking about how we understand uh, language summarizing, translating concept. Uh, for example, uh, from language to code role playing as a character uh, and uh, that is how we understand uh, uh, generative ai maybe uh, cons when we discuss about processing uh, actually a large amount of data uh, and uh, that is uh, that is important about how we compare classic traditional artificial intelligence and generative AI uh, uh, with prompts and codes. And of course, in generative AI, uh, AI we have uh, 
Actually, large language models are, uh, that is a kind of generative AI in term is often used for synonym, but uh, LLM, LLM is one of the work of text. And uh, finally, uh, we have uh, uh, top 10 use cases for generative AI. The first is the content creation and design that is very effective content creation that is crucial for attracting and engaging some customers. Uh, accelerated automatization with uh, IT tasks improve some employee experience, enhancing customer interaction and drives more efficiency with company uh, developer community. Uh, uh, personal marketing, uh, like uh, conversation, I can uh, significantly improve marketing uh, 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 ROI, uh, chatbots and virtual assistants, uh, product and service innovation, uh, uh, staying innovative uh, with, uh, I don't know, meeting involving customer demand that is essential for business success. Um, and language translation is also important to understand natural language processing uh, uh, and uh, capability. Uh, and of course, uh, detective analytic and forecasting uh, for vital effective decision making and operation efficiency, creative writing and content generation um, with different generative AI algorithms, automate, automate uh, and context creation process analytic. Medical research and diagnostic, that is very important to, to mention because healthcare industry can benefit from quickly diagnostic uh, disease potentially leading to, to faster and more uh, accurate uh, diagnostic, improving some uh, patient outcomes and uh, model how I can analyze this uh, medical images, how I detect anomaly uh, and uh, aid development for, for the new treatments. Additionally, generative A uh, deep with a different AI algorithm uh, can assist in diagnostic diseases, but analyzes some uh, symptoms and medical records and everything. Actually, that is uh, all uh, uh, when we're talking about top 10 use cases for generative AI. Uh, and of course, I also um, uh, very important to to emphasis uh, fraud detection and cybersecurity because business face uh, constant, uh, con uh, constant threats from fraudsters and cyber attack, but analyzes some patterns and anomaly uh, in large data sets. And uh, business can uh, leverage generative model to detect some uh, prevent fraud, uh, safeguard sensitive information, protect uh, digital assets. And um, that is uh, actually uh, all for my session uh, about uh, uh, when we discuss about data AI and innovation with the Microsoft uh, AI. Thank you for, for, for your attention and see you in the next uh, session. Bye-bye.